So for most of my life, I was like very calculated. I had a path. I knew what the next step was going to be. And when that started to not feel fulfilling to me, it was kind of alarming. I didn't feel like I knew what the next thing was. We had bought a couple embroidery machines that we had in our house. I just started messing around and one night I just cut up some felt and I sat down and I made a banner. I was like, oh, this is cool. I could do a couple of these, this will be fun. So when I found out the space was opening in East Nashville, I just said, I'll take it. <laughs> and they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, we make stuff. <laughs> I had not one piece of inventory for the store when I signed the lease, and so I worked completely backwards. And it's grown a lot since then. I love elevated basics, and I just love stuff that looks like it could have been around 30 years ago. Also, they've got a little sense of humor to them. When you start a business, obviously your friends are the first ones to know and they support you. And so I still don't believe that strangers buy things from me. I'm exactly who I am all the time. I don't have enough talent or skill to act or pretend to be something. And I think people really like being invested in the business because they know when they're buying something from the company, it is me. It's from my heart and I'm going to give that heart back to the community.